AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello, welcome to the micro soldering show on this beautiful Saturday. It's weekend, it's the last day of work for this week. And after the work, I just will relax for a short time, having a meal with the kids, and after that, we go to have a party. I hadn't had a party for a long, long time, really a, a party. I hadn't for a long time, okay? So, a small party like. Um, going to the grandparents because somebody has birthday okay but party with friends and really just having an evening without thinking on anything and just having a party it's a long time ago so I'm sure tomorrow I will have headache <laughs> like uh, like a dad but it's okay for me because today in the evening I just want to have a party and to have a good time so one of my last repairs before that is today in the morning a daily rescue job on an iPhone 6s which was mailed in because it um, it's dead okay it had it was in, in the water and now it's just dead and the customer wants to have the important data okay first the thing I want to do is checking that device by using the ICC Pro because it's the final version um, and the secret function is already activated on this device. I just have to cover that up and what the ICC pros tells us is that wait a second that TriStar slash Hydra is okay so in this case it's TriStar and TriStar is totally okay by the six lines we can measure and 5 VO USB is okay too so often after water damages you got um, you got an issue at uh, 5VO USB, so in this case not, no short of at 5VO 5 5 USB. So let's disassemble the device and having a look if we can fix that. If we can get the data out of this phone. I already see corrosion here. I have to take a picture. You see some rests of water here. So you see some corrosion at the at the earpiece. Andy is with me today in the evening for having the party, and Dennis too. I'm pretty sure it will will be a nice evening. So, getting out the board, disconnect all the components. Good morning in the morning, Mr. Andy Handy. Yeah. It's really cold. You're right. I just told um, that we that we are going to have a party today in the evening. What about your lust for that? <laughs> Are you motivated? Mm. Yeah, 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 why not? Why not? I said I, I haven't had a party for a long time, a r really a party with headache on the next day. I haven't had for a long time. So I'm pretty sure to tomorrow I will be like like a dead one. But it's okay. We just disassemble the phone. After me, Andy does the last video for this week, perhaps when he wants to. If not, then not. And after that, we can start right away in the weekend. So, okay, we see corrosion on the back side of the board. And now I just want to check my power supply. Just short detection, fast, just having a look what we have here in this case okay we got a short about 60 milliamps let's get away this, the clue sticker and let's see under the microscope what about that board oh 
only some corrosion here some corrosion on chestnut like always I see always corrosion on chestnut if I check these iPhone 6s water damages what about the bottom of the board nothing nothing but here we got some issues okay before I just start by re replacing chestnut and having a look for corrosion I just want to see what our thermocam says I will give you the picture in the video so that's not a problem yeah it's chestnut lighting up I I thought like that iPhone 6s shorted chestnut after water damage okay so let's remove chestnut chestnut here I hope for a swap 6S today in the morning, but I think this could be fast job, hopefully. Hmm. Out and you see a lot of corrosion on the chestnut. So now we just clean the area. Clean the corrosion on the top here too. And you see there's a lot of corrosion on the chestnut here. So we have to clean that completely. Looks much better now. Here is my wick. One pet has almost been gun, but perhaps it's just some corrosion on it and we can't see the rest of the pet, we will see in a minute. Okay, that's clean. Now we take contact cleaner. And brush. That is okay. Just some corrosion on it. We 
can see. But it was almost burned away. I saw these pads burning away a lot of times on 6S under chestnut. And now we just replace that. That little chip. solder it down by the way what did you say for Andy's videos just give me a comment for that I really like them German videos again with Andy okay did you see that that's bad what I did here, just sleeping. Okay, and now we can sit back. See, some things like this even happened to me. So that's okay. And sorry people by the way. And now we just want to see cooling down and having a look short has been gone or not short has been gone what about the boot looks good looks like a boot okay I just want to see if the FPCs of the screen are corroded but I don't see any corrosion here So I just want to get the home button and the LCD on, not the earpiece because I see corrosion on the earpiece. And boom, back to life again, iPhone 6S. Now we just wait for a boot. I see stripe, but that's screen related. So. Andy, could you please give me a... Oh, Andy isn't here. I just want to wait. This stripe is display related. Was du? Ein screen für ein iPhone 6s. Just for test. Ah, I know where it is. You got a data rescue on an iPhone 6S and it's already connected to that. Thanks, man. The screen is from Obseco. It's a ref and it's just, just amazing quality. Come on, 
I don't need you because I don't have a home button connected, so... So we see an apple, that's pretty good. And we see no stripe in the screen. So the stripe was screen, re screen related. And because I don't know if there are any um, private pictures on that phone here, no stripe. I just want to cover up the screen. I just sent the thermal cam video to the PC so I can finish this video. Mail to info and we are back, we are back, we are back. Just having a look if we got touch, yes we got touch. The only thing um, I need to connect a front camera or do I have let me see, do I have a code? No. I don't got a code. So, we have backlight. Perhaps you can see it better if I remove. Here, the touch is working. The touch is working. I need a screen with a connected front camera so you can see it better. Or I try to, I try to do it in that way. I try to hook up this screen, and I try to hook up this front cam flex, and I hope that it will boot with that, because there's a lot of corrosion on the back of the earpiece. But we can try it in that way, so you can see that I don't tell you shit. got an apple now we just wait until it's ready booted still booting so we should see more with connected ambient light sensor for the auto brightness or auto brightness in English. Just wait until the device has booted because I saw I could use the screen but it was very dark. Yeah, now you can see it better. Here, phone is fully working again. Just wait for the lag on power supply. Phone is fully working. We got the important data. So now we can tell the customer it worked. You can get data, you can get a complete backup of the phone. I hope you like it. This video has been done. And if you want to learn things like that, you can easily do that at the Border Library Repair School Germany. Um, I would be very happy about that. Just give me a message or um, visit our website. If you, want, if you are working at Repair Industry for smartphones and tablets, uh, I would be very happy to see you at our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. But please answer the questions. Otherwise, we can't accept you. And yeah, order the new ICC Pro on iccpro.de or contact one of our resellers, Rexcom, Obseku, Lixma. Um, they are all in. So just have a look. They have special editions of the ICC Pro. So Obseku got one in magenta. Um, Lixma got it in silver uh, or gray uh, with a blue button. And Rexcom got it in red with a black button. So they are all looking very nice. And these colors you only get at the reseller. So if you want to buy them, just contact them. I'm out. We see us with the next video. Today in the evening, I will give you some pictures out of our nice party. I'm out. Boom. Back to life again. Here's Ben.